Hi and welcome to another gaming video and today I'm going to be comparing my recently made Game Boy Macro XL with my Game Boy Advance SP and I think these two models are quite a fair comparison because this is a Game Boy Macro XL so it's made from an original Nintendo DS didn't have the best of screens and this is a Game Boy Advance SP and it is the AGS001 model so it's the first gen model of these and it too didn't have the best of screens. You don't really want to be comparing that with an AGS 101 or that with a macro that's been made out of a DS Lite. Both screens on these two devices are quite comparable. So let's let's take a quick look at what we mean. So I'm going to pop in a game here. Let's take a look at Splinter Cell, uh, Pandora Tomorrow. And this is what it looks like on a Game Boy Macro XL. So as you can see it's perfectly viewable, a uh, nice quite bright screen. There we go. So it's a, a, a great way of playing Game Boy Advance games. So let's just pop the same game into the Game Boy Advance SP. So this is the front lit version. So while the Game Boy Macro XL, which is made out of an original DS, is backlit, it isn't the best of backlit screens. But I still think it probably is slightly better in performance than a front lit Game Boy Advance SP. Screen size, I think they're about the same size. So in terms of screen quality, the macro I think just pips it, it's that backlit screen in there. Uh, if we then talk about, well, controls and comfortability. So I love my Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, it's what I use to play Game Boy Advance games on and also Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. But it's quite small and I think for a grown-up's hand, an adult's hand, it is quite cramped. I'm also, while I don't really have any issues with the buttons, they, well the D-pad especially is quite small and it's in this little ring. They're sort of recessed. I'm, I'm sure it's so you can, so your fingers don't slip all over the the console but it can be after a little while a bit awkward to play I think it's just a little small for adults hands whereas if you take something like this this is the macro XL it has that original Game Boy Advance feel to it where it's wider it's chunkier the buttons sort of flank the screens and I absolutely love the d-pad on the original DS it just it's got these little ridges on the end of the D-pad, it really just helps your fingers. Uh, I think for sheer comfortability, if that's the word, the Macro XL wins over the Game Boy Advance SP. And both have got built-in rechargeable batteries. Both probably offer about the same life, anywhere between sort of eight and 12 hours that you'd get out of both consoles. So in terms of battery life, they're both even. Um, I Think. Yes, they do. They even take the same charger. So this is an original DS. When Nintendo brought those out, they didn't change the charging port. So a Game Boy Advance SP charger will work on an original DS and vice versa. And if you've got a Macro XL, you can use that charger too. Now one area that the Game Boy Advance SP does win is that it is backward compatible with Game Boy and Game Boy Color cartridges. It is the device that I use for playing those games um, because it's just got a much better screen than any original Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket or Game Boy Color. And so that is one area that the Game Boy Advance wins over because a DS, while it can play Game Boy Advance games, which makes it great for macro mods, uh, you cannot plug original Game Boy or Game Boy Color games into this. And then there is one glaring point to make is that this is an off-the-shelf, this is an official Nintendo console. You buy it, you plug games into it, and it works. 
And while in some ways this is an original Nintendo console, because it is a... Well, it can play Game Boy Advance games officially, but to make it, you've got to destroy a DS. And for anyone who didn't watch the Making This Macro video, I will tell you that this was a very destroyed original DS. I chose to make a macro out of it because it, I needed to do something with it. The top half of it was completely and utterly annihilated. And giving it this form factor, this macro XL, it's given it a new lease of life because it didn't function as a DS, not really. But it is something that you need to do. You need the skills to be able to make it. A lot of people either don't have the skills or just don't want to. They don't want the whole making a custom console and opening it up and modifying it. So if you're not interested in making a macro and you want something to play Game Boy Advance games on, then an SP is the one for you, either the AGS-001 or an AGS-101 with the backlight screen, although they're extremely hard and very expensive to find. But if you're into a bit of tinkering, and it didn't take a lot, uh, or maybe you've got a DS sitting there that has got a faulty hinge, or maybe the top screen is not working properly, you could easily turn that into a Macro XL. You could do a better job. My DS was really, really in a, in a poor state, so this is quite an improvement over what I had to deal with in the first place but that is something to consider this comes up off the shelf or you could just buy it straight off eBay this has to be either made by yourself or there are people that make them and then sell them but they do charge uh, for that privilege really there isn't much else to say about it both consoles will take a Game Boy Advance cartridge and both of them fit in nice and snugly. If you were to make this out of a DS Lite and therefore make a Game Boy Macro, the Game Boy Advance cartridge sticks at the bottom. Uh, and it, it's one of the reasons people like uh, the Macro XL because it's, it's flush. And, and I think, well, like I said earlier, it is a very comfortable console. Even as a DS, it was comfortable, but without that top screen on, the Macro XL is a very, very comfortable ha console to handle the the slopeness or sort of the corners rounded corners of the the bottom half of the ds is very very comfortable to use and i, I just love the buttons on it uh, i haven't seen buttons like this before or since not really uh, even the a b n x y buttons just feel a lot different to anything else they feel a lot different to this and even on a, a DS Lite they just don't have that same feel so that is me sort of comparing two consoles that are capable of playing Game Boy Advance games and like I said I, I picked these two because they've got a similar screen quality if you were to take a Game Boy Macro which is made out of a bottom half of a Nintendo DS Lite then you'd be better off comparing it to the AGS 101 version of the Game Boy Advance SP because they would have similar screen qualities, fantastic backlight on a, well on both of them, on the DS Lite, i.e. the Game Boy Macro, uh, and the AGS 101 Game Boy Advance SP. But those are two consoles, and these are my two consoles. I have to say, now that I've got my Macro XL, uh, I probably will play Game Boy Advance games on it, because of the form factor, uh, because of the s slight improvement, shall we say, of the screen quality. So we're just going to do another quick comparison so you can see. This is a bootleg copy of A Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. And if we show it on the Game Boy Advance... Ooh, no. If we show it on the Macro XL, uh, you will see just how bright and clear this is now I have to say that this is a macro XL without a speaker in because this was a super simple mod but you can put them in so you do have sound this one only has sound out of the headphone port but look at that screen that is superb for an original DS which has been renowned for not having the best of screens it's actually a really decent screen 
if we then pop that Zelda game into the Game Boy Advance SP, while it still looks great, it's just not as bright or as viewable as it is on a Game Boy Macro XL. So there you have it, that is a quick comparison of two devices designed for playing Game Boy Advance games and what the differences are between them uh, and which one I prefer. So obviously I have to use this for my Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Uh, I could use my original DMG or a Game Boy Pocket or even a Game Boy Color, but I prefer the front lit screen. Uh, it just makes playing Game Boy and Game Boy Color games so much better, but you can't play those on these. So if I was looking for uh, a device to play Game Boy Advance games on only, then I would pick this up and play it because it's a uh, screen quality and well, the how you hold it and just how it feels is a lot more comfortable especially for long-term playing than a Game Boy Advance SP. But I do still love this console. So there you go. Two consoles designed for Game Boy Advance games, but while they are similar in lots of ways, they also differ uh, in many more. Let me know what you think. Let me know which console you would prefer. Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.